Good morning. This is Warrior Crane with your spiritual reading. And today is Thursday. The first card I pull is the Five of Cups. Partial loss. Dwelling in the past. Or regrets. We're going to have regrets. But like I said, we learn from our mistakes. Don't cry over spilled wine. Learn from it and move on. And I pulled the falseness card. Sometimes we have this sense of we failing, but we actually are not failing. But it might seem like you are. You just might feel like that, but you know, that's a false sense of a feeling. And you could be right where you need to be at. And the card I pull with it is believe and succeed. Believe and succeed. So that falseness could be you putting that on yourself, thinking that you failed, thinking, you know, you the one having regrets. You have to believe in order to succeed. The next card I put was the Prince of Wands. This is the risk taker, the adventurer, the one that sports. Look at this road behind him. He's getting out there. You know, we can't have any regrets. We can't have regrets. We have to get on out there. I put the lover card. And see how he's half and half. Love of self. Got to have more love for yourself. Stop regretting. Stop living in the past. Having fears. Move forward. And become a love of yourself. I put the clarity of belief. You see how he's holding his heart with the this is a butterfly it's almost like the butterfly is you know magically swinging around his hand clarity of belief you got to believe in yourself you see how he's holding his heart For the Prince of Cups. Idealistic, ambitious, off of love. You can look at him and tell he's ambitious. Idealistic, artistic, even. The sword in his back and the shades and just his whole appearance. Yes, once again, watch out for the enemies that's around the corner. As we've moved up the ladder from regrets, and then we start becoming a risk taker. Now we all the way ambitious and idealistic, and we're offering love, and they go to the enemies standing right there. On the counter, just waiting for you for us to just slip. So yeah, and in this stage in your life, this is when healing begins. Cause you let everything go, and now we in this state of mind, and now our true healing starts.
Then I pull the Nine of Cups. Achievement, success, clarity. Now we're down to the end. Now we're full force. I pull the house card, the casa. So even our home life is in order. But we know what we, it's going to take to get to this stage. I pull the love abounds. Notice the eye inside this heart. The water. Purification. So stay within your true self. And don't let your ego take over either. I pull the serpent of fire. Do not access your current ability based on your past standards. As they no longer apply to you. No longer apply to you because you've moved forward. you moved higher. You are stronger and more powerful now than you have been before. You need to learn afresh what you are capable of. And ISIS is here to help you now. So we've moved up. We've moved higher. So we do doing more than what we used to. Um, I pulled the EWAS card and stability. Move forward carefully. Steady progress. Harmony. Teamwork. Trust and loyalty. This card represents the lover's card. Partnerships. Union. Duality. Then I pull the abundance card. This card has come out a lot. Um, abundance in spirituality, uh, learning of self, that clarity, not just financially, because some of us on a spiritual journey, you know, so, you know, we get an abundance, we opening up, and we're going to receive that abundance. All we have to do is just open up. And that is your reading for today. I am love. We are love. Thank you for watching.